Hello, I would like to speak to you about uh, blood pressure. Um, so how to um, reduce it basically. So I will use my personal story obviously to uh, give you some uh, some color to my uh, my points. So uh, how much? Maybe four years ago? No, even more. Uh, seven years ago. Um, so I was 35 and um, I was borderline um, having a high blood pressure. Uh, so, you know, um, I had to wear some device for 24 hours to, to, to get the average. Um, and it's only thanks to during the night, my uh, pressure was a bit, was going down. So the average was below the threshold, you know, to get some drugs or whatever to reduce it. Uh, but otherwise, it wasn't too great. Um, so, you know, um, so I escaped the drug. Um, and then I changed more or less my lifestyle, not just for that, but because, I, you know, the more I was reading about it and health and everything, the more I was um, tweaking a few bits there and there and um, so the good news is for example so for, at 42 yesterday I had some reading um, that were 120 over 65 or 75 anyway a very good um, blood pressure um, healthy one or consider considered healthy so how did it happen uh, as I said, I was changing my lifestyle, so quitting smoking. Uh, I'm still drinking a bit, maybe a bit less than I used to. Um, so especially since the lockdown, I'm drinking probably less than six months ago. Um, to be specific, I would say it's probably just within the um, advice given by um, NHS, which is 14 units per, per week. Uh, in other world, maybe in other world, maybe like um, more or less a pint of beer uh, every day. Um, so that's it in terms of alcohol. So smoking completely gave up uh, since I started running uh, about two years ago. Um, what else? Uh, stress. Uh, stress. This is uh, quite a big one, and obviously it's not possible for everyone to do what I did. But basically, I was quite stressed at work, and um, I managed to now have a more relaxed approach to that. So working a bit less in terms of hours, but also, you know, you cannot please everyone. Um, you manage the expectation a bit better beforehand, so like that, you don't have too much on your plate and feel pressure to deliver. Um, so that uh, probably played a big part in improving this uh, blood pressure thing. Um, I started meditation in 2018, so again two years ago. Um, I'm not regular, regular, but I try to do that um, a few times a week. Uh, I was more regular when I was still uh, going to work because no nowadays I'm remotely, I'm working remotely because of the lockdown and um, it's still, still going on with my company. Um, and so when I was commuting, I was meditating in the, um, in the transport, uh, you know, instead of playing whatever game on your phone, uh, that's a good time investment, good time well spent, I suppose. Um, meditation is not something too difficult, whatever it could be, so it's a breathing exercise um could be listening to some guided meditation it could be simply closing your eyes and um thinking about say a color or um, noticing how you breathe uh, but there are a lot of exercises I'll, I'll let you that look that up um but uh, it has been more or less proven by many uh, studies that uh, meditation could help uh, people in many regards you know um, it could even improve the telomere, which is the length of the telomere, which could um, uh, have a strong impact into aging and uh, how young you will, your body will technically be. Um, so meditation a bit. Um, 
sports, obviously. So I always been doing some sport in my life, but they were far more uh, anaerobic, you know, like uh, first of all tennis or, or my body weight exercise, um, you know, a lot of push ups and stuff like that. So not really aerobic, not really steady and easy. Um, so that came when I started running and especially that uh, I learned that I need to go even slower and more easy that I used to do. So as you know, if you follow my other videos, now I'm doing like math style, low heart rate. So very easy, very steady. Um, and only a few uh, burst strides, you know, every now and then. Um, so that helped. And uh, last but not least, so try to improve my diet. I'm still not perfect yet, but uh, reduce considerably the refined sugar. Um, I'm trying to avoid uh, meat and dairy as much as possible. So I'm not vegan, but uh, I try to be as often as possible. So for example, nowadays, I probably out of three meals per day, um, two of them would be vegan. Um, what else? So yeah, that's it. And last point I wanted to say, uh, blood pressure in itself, I don't believe is a uh, disease is more like an adaptation uh, to your environment. So say, for example, you're doing a heavy squat, take your blood pressure when you're pushing. You can imagine that the blood pressure would be quite high and adjust because it has to adapt to the stress you're having, you're putting your body under. And um, I think that uh, when you're chronically uh, putting your body into such environment such that you're blood pressure has to adapt, doesn't mean that it's a disease, just a symptom or a, a response, adaptation to what, whatever you're putting your body through. And so those, um, those problems could be indeed stress, bad diet, tox toxins uh, that you can have in um, um, maybe too many drugs, who knows, um, could be <clears throat> Like a lack of sleep could be, uh, you know, a lack of light. Uh, so vit also taking some vitamin D supplement um, was mentioning that. Don't know if that uh, how much an impact it had, but um, I think it's important. Um, so what matters the most anyway is to have a lifestyle that is as close as possible to targeting those main pillars of so sleep stress, um, or avoiding stress, diet and exercise, so four pillars. Um, if you can step by step work on some of them and step by step improve his lifestyle. Anyway, based on my experience, but also on what so many uh, doctors and, and uh, studies say, it is possible to reduce the uh, blood pressure. And um, and, and, and it will reap benefits in so many other areas anyway. So I really do encourage you to, 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 to step by step try to work on those pillars, um, except if you're already at a good, good uh, level anyway. But if you're watching this video, I suppose you probably uh, are experiencing a bit of a high blood pressure. Uh, so don't worry about it. Take your time, invest some effort every now and then at least to try to improve those pillars and progress should come. Um, if not, at least you can check and you can measure your blood pressure quite easily. You just need a device that you can have at home and um, you will know if you need to go for something more drastic or not. But please give it a chance, give your body a chance and um, all the best. <laughs>